Hello and welcome to Makeshift Minis. Today I'm going to be making a tree folk. This one took quite a bit more time to make than my other minis because it's significantly larger and more complicated. I needed to branch out my skills a bit to make this one. I start as I usually do by straightening out a few paper clips. Since this has a lot of areas that need support, I'll need all the wire I can get. By making a loop with the wire, I form the framework for the main body and then twist the wire a few times to secure it. Once I finish twisting the wires together, I make a shelf at the coils for the hips. After using more wire to make an armature for the arms, I tie the two pieces together with a piece of stripped pipe clean. I put the armature off to the side so I can begin working on the head. I start by putting a piece of wire in some cork and then add a bit of hot glue. I keep turning the cork until I get a rough ball and then cool it off in water. With the base of the head complete, I use my pliers to make a crown of branches with pieces of wire. take some time to shape the wires before adding more. Now that the horns are in place, I can start sculpting the face. I begin by adding hot glue to the bottom of the head, which I then cool off in water. I continue to shape the jawline before it hardens completely. With the jawline complete, I work on other details like the brow and nose. Looking at my handiwork, I don't think I did too bad. I attach the head to the body by pushing the wire through the hot glue I used to secure the armature together. Once the head's nice and secure, I start building up the torso with hot glue. While I'm working on the torso, I add some hot glue to the neck to strengthen the connection. With the torso finished, I begin using my pliers to pose the legs. I cover the legs in a layer of hot glue while making some touch-ups to the torso. After I cool it off in water, I begin building up the legs to make them thicker and more bark-like. To continue to work on the legs, I need to secure them to a base before I can go any further. So as usual, I poke holes in a bottle cap with my awl and add hot glue to the wires on the other end. Now that I have the legs anchored in place, I can start building out roots. After making some adjustments to the pose, I continue to add glue to the legs and cooling it off after every layer. After I pose the arms, it's time to begin sculpting them. When I add glue to the arms, I try and leave the end exposed.
Each line of hot glue I add strengthens the limb and adds just a bit more detail. With the bulk of the tree folk finished, I start cutting up some wire for the remaining details. After putting a bead of hot glue at the end of the arm, I use my tweezers to put the hands together finger by finger. Putting together the hands is a time-consuming process that took nearly 20 minutes to get right. With the hardest part of the sculpt out of the way, I begin adding branches all over the body. After adding a branch on the back, I embed a wire in the knee to build up another one. I continue to add wires to the mini, adding branches on both elbows and another one on the back. After priming the tree folk brown, I decided on a simpler paint job. I start with a base coat of dark grey, so when I add further layers of paint, the recesses will really pop out. Once the base coat is dry, I begin dry brushing a warm brown. I try and cover it as thoroughly as I can without getting too much in all the nooks and crannies. I mix in some yellow before I dry brush another layer. The effect really isn't all that noticeable on camera, but it's certainly a nice bit of contrast in person. With the mini mostly complete, I add one last detail before moving on to the base. I actually sculpted in the eyes while I was working on the end, so I take this opportunity to paint them blue. I carefully begin painting the base, trying to be aware of where the roots are. I'm not sure if I can call it a mini, given how big it is. Nevertheless, I think hot glue is a good medium to make organic shapes like vines and bark. I'm quite proud that I managed to sculpt the eyes, though initially I was thinking of painting them green. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.
Take care, be well, and until next time.